Okay, hi everybody. Okay. I'm here with Kevin Rush, and he's gonna show us how to make a couple of drinks. So what are we making first? Well, because it's, it's sort of the end of summer, we're moving into fall, I, I still wanna do something that's nice and light and looks really good in the glass. So this, mm. is, this is a peritini using a new product, pear vodka from Absolute. All right. Okay, not a lot of people know what to do with pear spirit, right? But this drink is gonna have this incredible balance, this great color, and it really tastes fantastic, okay? Sounds We're gonna good. take our cocktail shaker. Mm -hmm. It's nicely chilled. Look, look at that, look at the condensation oh, yeah. there. So you wanna put ice in there early. Come on, it's Canada. Ice is cheap in Canada. <laughs> and we're also watering or icing down our glass, as you see right there. Oh, okay. So the glass is gonna be nice and cold and it will hold the, the coldness of the drink even longer. Oh, nice. Okay? This drink starts with, we call three parts of absolute pears. So we're building it in three, two, one. It's a very simple drink to do. Okay. This is about two ounces, okay? But let's say three parts. And we're gonna do two parts. So that's a bit less okay. of cranberry. So we have pear, spirit, we have some sweetness and some tartness from the cranberry. And then we're gonna use some lime cordial, which nobody ever really thinks about using mm. these days. They go, my grandmother used to drink that, right? Well, it's gonna just bring another a je ne sais quoi to the drink, okay? And we're gonna do about one part of that. Again, you can mix it around. You can play with the, the different levels to what you like. Mm. You'll see I'm not gonna overshake this drink because yeah, I want so it to have a perfect clarity in the glass. And the more you shake it, the more volatile it will become. Okay. The more ice that you're gonna put into it, and the more watered down the drink will taste. Uh, so in restaurants or in bars when they're really shaking it. That's a great better. show, but they're actually right. giving you a lousy drink. Oh. Never reuse your ice. Okay. That just looks cheap, right? So we're gonna take our ice, we're gonna dump it. This is a classy joint. <laughs> it is a classy joint. My, pet, my, my buddy Pat Lauren's a classy joint. We're gonna strain this out. And already, I'm going like, come on, look at the color in that drink. Wow. That is a beautiful looking drink. And we're gonna garnish, because the significant flavor you're gonna get in this drink is pear. So we're gonna garnish with a piece of pear, so people can actually see the flavor that they're gonna be tasting. That one, that one broke, but I think it's gonna hold for now. Right. Here's the one that we made with fresh lime juice. You can see how its color is a bit different right. because the fresh lime juice is a bit more cloudy than the cordial. Either way you have it, we have two beautiful looking cocktails. Both of them taste great, and any good bartender should take a fresh straw and dip into the drink. And <laughs> 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 It's a bit strong, go figure. I'm gonna get another straw, I'm gonna test the other drink, just to make sure that the drink you're getting is the drink that he or she wanted to make you. That way before they serve it, oh, that one's killer. That way before they serve it, they know that they're happy with the drink themselves. Oh, nice. Right, now if you wanna get really adventurous with this one, you get a little bit. Oh, wow. And, and, and Bruce is good, look at this Bruce over there. <laughs> but I, he's gonna have to talk to me about this afterwards. You just do a little, a little floater of pear Williams right on the top, which is really going to bring some additional pear flavor oh, what are, what to are the you cocktail. Added? Oh, pear Williams, cognac. Yeah, oh, oh cognac. okay. Now this is your drink right there. All so right. Teeny. This one here. Yeah. You want a straw? Or you're just going to drink it like that. No, I'll do it how you did it. Okay. No, you're going to drink the drink. Okay. <laughs> it looks so beautiful. Oh, you can really smell the pear. Yeah. It's fun, it's a new flavor that people haven't really experimented with yet. Oh, that's really good. Is it really good? Okay, we're friends here, we all work for the food. Yeah, yeah. We're all family. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, that's great. I wanna try, can I try this one? You can try that one. Now that one's gonna be a, lot, a bit more tart. This one's the winner. Mm. That's a bit sweeter. Uh, that's really refreshing though. Yeah. Not as sweet, but. It would be nice for yeah. a really welcome cocktail, but this this one's the winner? Yeah, delicious. Okay. So we have our, our, our sweet cocktails. Now we're going to do one more. Because we're in an oyster house, we would be remiss, and I would be in big trouble if we didn't do an oyster shooter. Yes. So we're going to do an oyster shooter right now? Okay. Okay. Well, 